cultures. So, why this particular concept has come? In an array, we can initialize only homogeneous data elements. But if you want to initialize the different, that is heterogeneous data elements, it is very difficult in arrays. So the drawback behind arrays led to the foundation of structures. Now let us see the definition of structure. A structure is a collection of heterogeneous or dissimilar data elements. Structure is user defined data type. Structure helps to construct a complex data type which is more meaningful. It is somewhat similar to an array but an array holds data of similar type only. But structure on the other hand can store data of any type which is practically more useful in the real time. The size of structure variable will be the sum of sizes of individual member elements data type. Now let us see how to define a structure. Structure can be defined in two ways. The first one is tagged structure and the second one is tagged up structure. Now let us see the syntax of tagged structure. Struct followed by tag name. Within the curly brace we are going to write the member list elements and close the curly brace and put a semicolon. So this is how we are going to write the tagged structure. Let us see one example. Struct student within the curly brace I am writing care name of 25 semicolon int age care branch of size 10 float percentage put a semicolon and close the structure with a semicolon. So here struct student of S1 comma S2 comma S3 which means we have initialized three structure variables where the size of S1 will be the total sum of all the individual variable sizes that is 25 plus 4 29 plus 10 will be 39 39 plus 4 which is 43. So the total size will be 43 bytes which is allocated for S1. Now let us see type def structure. The syntax is type def struct within that we are going to write the member list elements close that and write the tag name before putting semicolon. Let us see one example type def struct care name of 25 int age care branch of 10 float percentage close that and we are going to write the tag name here that is student followed by semicolon student s1 comma s2 comma s3 this is how we can write it in the earlier case we need to write it as struct student s1 comma s2 comma s3 for tagged structure but for type def structure already we have defined the type as struct we need not to specify once again. So we can directly write it as student s1 comma s2 comma s3. Let us see one example program structures. Let us see a problem statement relevant to the structures. Problem statement to declare and initialize initialize structure variables. To declare and initialize structure variables, compile time. Just this is a program to understand the structures initializing of a variable at compile time. That is a static initialization. So just as a recap, we know the syntax of structure. Syntax of structure. So there are two types of structures which we have discussed. The first one is tagged structure and the second one is type def structure. So this is an example program which I am initializing at compile time with a tagged structure. So the syntax of tagged structure is struct followed by here we are going to write the tag name. Here we are going to write the tag name. So open the curly brace. Here this is the member list. Here we are going to write the member list followed by 
semicolon so this is how we are going to write the tag structure now whenever we are using this tag structure so we can write a tag name within global declaration section or we can write the tag name in main function section depending upon our requirement we can write it so this is the syntax of tag structure now let us write a simple program to understand how to declare and initialize a structure as we all know the definition of a structure that is a structure is a collection of heterogeneous or dissimilar data element now int main now within the main we can also write the structure and structure can also be written in the global declaration section so here we are going to use this global declaration section struct followed by i am going to initialize a structure name as student for this so what are all the member elements associated with the student so here i am going to write with a heterogeneous data element care the name of the student name of the student next int what are the uh, marks of the student next float what is the percentage of a student next if you want to use a double also you can use an identifier double i can also use some identifier double fees so these are the different identifiers which we are going to use as part of this structure member list followed by we need to give semicolon so this is how we are going to create a tagged structure here student is the tag name so if i am representing within this less than and greater than sign which means here tag name can be anything but struct is a keyword which we need to use for sure in order to implement structures now i can initialize the variables associated with the structure here itself in the global declaration or i can also initialize them in main so i will be initializing them in the main function now this is a static initialization so in order to do this uh, static or the compile time initialization of uh, the identifiers associated with the student so this is how we are going to write it struct student of so if i am saying s1 student1 equal to so within the curly brace according to the order so how you have specified the member list elements in the same order you need to specify the elements now whenever we are going to initialize we are going to initialize in this way like first one is name so name is a string which should be enclosed within the double quote now i'll be giving the name of the person some name of the person is let us take name of the person is vishwajit name of the person is vishwajit next so what are the marks which are scored by vishwajit so let us take out of 600 he have scored 500 what is the percentage so you need to also give the percentage over here like what is the percentage he has scored like 90% next what is the fees he is going to pay so let me give the fees as like 50 50000 okay so this is how we are going to specify the structure member list variables associated values okay now as soon as we have given all these elements then we can put a semicolon so this is how we are going to initialize the declared member list elements now in order to access these elements so in order to uh, accessing structure variables in order to access structure variables we are going to use dot we are going to use dot that is we need to use like if i want to access name of a student i need to access like if i want to access name of a student i need to access in this way like s1 dot name s1 dot name so this is how we are going to refer with this s1 followed by dot the member list element name s1 dot name similarly if i want to access marks if i want to access marks of the student so i need to give it as s1 dot marks so this is how we need to access marks similarly if i want to access percentage s1 dot percentage if i want to access fees s1 dot fees now let us print this particular statements first name of the student name equal to percentile s yes, same the identifiers or whatever we have used as part of 
the program name is a character type so character and it is of a string type so percentile yes followed by here if i want to print name so earlier we have seen just we have given name but here whenever we are using structures so for a given structure i have created this s1 as an identifier this we can also call as our user defined data type so here student is an user defined data type struct student of s1 this is how similarly we write a int followed by some identifier name now this entire part is like a data type which is nothing but a user defined data type followed by s1 is an identifier associated with that user defined data type so here i need to access that element by s1 dot name s1 dot name identifier name next printf if i want to access marks marks equal to what is the data type we have used we have used data type as int so that is the reason i am writing percentile d next s1 dot s1 dot marks so you can write all these things in a single printf statements but sim for our easier understanding i am writing individually later depending upon my requirement i'll be writing all the things in a single printf statement next if i want to display percentage if i want to display percentage the format specifier used here is float and if i want to print after the point only two precisions then i can write in this the format specifier that is percentile percentile point 2f which means after point we are going to print only two precision values so this is how we can control the number of precisions after the point s1 dot percentage s1 dot percentage next we have printf fees so fees equal to percentile f or percentile lf and if you want to also control you can also control with a point followed by f next here s1 dot s1 dot fees s1 dot fees so this is how we are going to initialize uh, the array this is how we are going to initialize the static uh, initialization of structures that is at compile time we are going to initialize and we are going to print them next return zero so this is what we are going to give a message to the com, uh, operating system saying that our program is successfully done once this program has been written now let me just execute this code and show you what is the output we are going to get it see here name equal to vishwajit marks equal to 500 percentage is 90.00 after point we got only two precisions so here if i am not using slash n then it is not going to print in the new line so that is what we need to take care so if you are using slash n then your output will be line by line so i'll execute once again so name equal to vishwadit marks equal to 500 percentage is 90.00 and here you can see 50000 followed by after point you are going to get six precisions which we didn't control at all right so if i am giving the direct value 50000 but if i am not using anything after point and the specified data type is double definitely by default it will take six precisions after point so this is what we need to remember here i have control with percentile 0.2f so that is the reason why i got only two precisions after point so this is how we can initialize uh, variables in a structure